hey welcome back to my only f sorry youtube welcome back to my youtube so i was out today with some pals and we went thrifting and i stumbled upon the cutest thing ever okay is this not the cutest thing ever i don't really know if this is like a thing i think this is like from claire's it says claire's there's like that stupid little monkey on the bottom and it was only four dollars and i saw it and i instantly fell in love and i said i want to make history and so that's what i'm gonna do no but i am planning on just like revamping this and turning it into like a really cool piece of artwork maybe it's i don't think i don't i've never seen anyone actually skate on anything like this before <sighs> i think it might be a joke but i'm not in on it so not in like great great shape if you do try to skate on it it will veer you to the right and also like the deck itself is like splitting a little bit but what i'm planning on doing so i'm gonna take off the grip i'm gonna try and then i'm gonna like sand it and then just like maybe like wood burn it or maybe like paint it or something i haven't really decided what i want to do with it yet but i'm gonna start the process of like taking it apart and cleaning it and stuff maybe get some nice new screws these are rusty I may or may not get new wheels, but that seems like too much of a commitment. Would it be stupid if I changed the wheels? I don't know. So that's a little fun little project that I want to do less than two weeks until school starts. And I'm just trying to like live my life as hard as I can until, <sighs> until responsibilities have to happen. I really loved wood burning my longboard that I still use to this day. I'll put in a little of uh, the picture of it. So that's all I have to say. Okay. Okay. So thanks to YouTube, I found a really easy way to get the grip off the top of this it was by heating up the adhesive with a hair dryer and then going over each edge with a razor blade. Once I got each edge lifted, it made it really easy just to take the whole thing off in one piece. I usually like to sketch out my ideas digitally like over a photo of whatever I'm like wood burning or painting or drawing or whatever and then using that digital photo as a reference for the actual drawing itself. So the wood stain that I got from Home Depot ended up being a whole lot darker than I had anticipated, but uh, once it was on there, it was a little bit too late, so I just kind of rolled with it. And then the actual like wood burn itself kind of disappeared a little bit because it kind of blended in with the stain, so I decided to go over it with white acrylic paint to make the design stand out a little bit more. So then I went over it with a glossy coat and I wasn't too sold on it at first, but eventually it kind of grew on me so I just left it.
This part sucked. I hated doing this. It was just really hard to like get the edges cut super clean, um, but eventually it was fine. It looked a little janky at first, but I went over it again and made the edges a lot cleaner than they look right now in this video. Then I bought some 52 millimeter wheels, which were a little bit bigger than what was originally on there, but it turned out fine. Okay, party rockers, that's the end of the video. I guess it was just a creative outlet for me. If you want the skateboard, it's on my Etsy. You can have it, okay? Like, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. I could mount it on my wall, or you could mount it on your wall, or you could put it on a shelf, or do anything that you want with it. It's entirely up to you. Thanks for watching, and hope you found your zen in this really chill, comfy video.